Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh Kali ini kita akan bincangkan example 2 Dan masih lagi kita dalam uh, Topik 5 Work uh, Soalan ini kita akan apply Equation W is equal to F S sin theta Untuk force yang berbeza Force yang berlainan Yang bertindak ke atas satu objek Soalan dia kata A person pulls a 50 kilogram crate 40 meter along a horizontal That's the first info The displacement is 40 meter By a constant force F 100 newton Which acts at an angle Okay, angle theta, 37 uh, degree. Now, this 37 degree is the angle between F and the floor. Sebagaimana yang ditunjukkan dalam diagram. Okay, as shown in figure below, the floor is rough. So, bila rough, maka ada friction. So, gambar ni dah dilukis cantik. Dengan free body diagram dah diidentify dengan cantik. Okay, mungkin kalau lah kamu belajar nanti pada tahun hadapan, free body diagram tidak diberi, maka knowledge kamu dalam chapter 4 amat diperlukan. Untuk identify terlebih dahulu uh, Forces on this object However, since the learning outcome is to apply W is equals to F as cos theta Therefore, kita awal-awal sudah lukiskan uh, Dah identifikan forces pada objek ini Okay So, the frictional force juga diberi F is 50 newton Okay, so that's uh, the info. Okay. Now, bukan saja ada F, external force dan juga friction, tetapi apabila objek ni menyentuh surface, maka pastilah ada normal force dan weight sentiasa ada. So, soalan dia yang pertama, calculate the work done by the normal force. The work done by normal force is F, okay, the normal force is N. The symbol is N. Okay. The the general equation for work done is F S cos theta. But work done by normal force is N times S cos theta. Now, jangan terkeliru dengan soalan. Soalan dah bagi angle theta 37 tadi. 37 degree itu specific untuk F and uh, the external force F. And the floor, tetapi angle theta di dalam uh, soalan ini is the angle between normal force and displacement. So from this diagram, we can see that the normal force and displacement. So displacement is basically, uh, saya lukiskan dengan warna merah supaya nampak displacement sebenarnya basically arah ke kanan. Okay, so Walaupun arrow ini tak dilukis pada lantai Sebenarnya displacement boleh kita gerakkan arrow tu ke mana-mana saja So displacement basically arah ke kanan Dan angle-nya dengan normal force adalah 90 degree And as we know If N times S times cos 90 degree The work done by normal force is 0 joule So cos 90 is 0 The second one is work done by the weight Work done by the weight, biasanya kita labelkan dengan WG ataupun work done due to gravity. Okay, weight is uh, adalah MG sama dengan gravity. Uh, weight is W times S cos theta. Okay, so ini basically F S cos theta. And the angle theta between weight and displacement S is also 90 degree so it is basically w 
as cos 90 degree that is also equals to 0 joule now by this time you should be able to realize that if the force and the displacement is 90 degree to each other therefore there is no work done by the force on the object because cos 90 is 0 now for C the work done by the force F work done by the force F is basically F S cos theta and the angle theta between force and displacement for this case is 37 degree so kalau kita modelkan objek ni sebagai satu titik uh, a point mass therefore kita boleh nampak dengan jelas sebenarnya force dan juga displacement is 37 degree so we can substitute the info given that the force is 100 times the displacement 40 meter cos 37 degree and we'll get 3194.5 joule that's for question c and d is the work done by the friction force wf the friction force time displacement time cos theta look at the diagram now saya akan padam sikit supaya kita nampak bahawa the angle between the friction and displacement is 180 degree so the frictional force is 50 substitute the value now times 40 time cos 180 so we we'll get 50 kali 40 is 2000 cos 180 is negative 1 so we have negative 2000 joule di sini kita nampak orang yang tarik kotak itu beri positif energy work done by force f on the box Okay, is positive. Maksudnya, energy is transferred to the box. Tetapi dalam kes ini, friction melambatkan pergerakan kotak itu. Friction ambil tenaga kotak itu. That's why we have the work done by the friction is negative 2000. So, apa yang berlaku? The box is doing work on the environment. Ah, So, energy kotak itu dibebaskan kepada environment dalam bentuk haba sebanyak 2000 joule in the form of heat energy okay and for question D is total work done on the crate okay so to calculate the total work done we can add all the work done by forces uh, together so w net is equal to work done by normal force which is zero plus work done by gravity which is also zero plus work done by external force f plus work done by friction so zero plus zero plus work done this is w mm -hmm. this is also w 3194.5 joule plus negative 2000 will end up with 1194.5 joule that is the total work done by all the forces kita tambah tanpa mengambil kira direction kerana work done tidak ada direction tetapi negative sign perlu kita gantikan menunjukkan bahawa energi kota itu berkurang sebanyak 2000 tetapi energi kota itu juga bertambah sebanyak 3194 oleh uh, external force dan berkurang sebanyak 2000 joule jadi sebenarnya total 
energy transferred to the ball is 1194.5 joule so work done on the box okay so itu sahaja video untuk kali ini example 2 video seterusnya kita akan cover contoh yang sama work done juga w is equal to fs cos theta tetapi melibatkan inclined plane So, sekiranya ada apa-apa masalah, boleh tanya saya. Tinggalkan saja apa-apa komen dekat ruangan komen. Supaya saya boleh uh, perbetulkan nanti uh, dalam kelas tutorial. Terima kasih kerana study dan tonton video ini.